I cannot tell if my hair looks moisturized or not. <laughs> I'm going to one of these stores with my friend later. Well, I thought I was, but then Dwayne, Dwayne asked me to go to a different one with him too. So I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have to go with my friend tomorrow and like go mess around at a mall or so, and then this thing with Dwayne. Today is 2 o'clock. I work at 2.30 so I'm headed there. So today's a rather short shift which means I'm happy. I wanted to eat before I left. That didn't really happen. I ate breakfast. I also wanted to cook but I'm kind of tired so I was chilling even though I was off yesterday. And um, I already have vlogs scheduled for the rest of December. So um, now these vlogs are gonna have to go up in like January, which is crazy. Um, I got everybody Christmas gifts and all that stuff already. Brittany got her birthday gifts last night. I have one little clip of her coming for them that I'll insert and she loves them. Let me call her back. Of course, so when I'm minding my own business and taking my vitamin C and drinking my water, I'm gonna freaking get sick. How <clears throat> my throat feels like I have gravel in there. So I'm sucking on a Cepasol because it's for um, sore throat, but I literally feel like crap and I just got here and I already have like the worst customer literally <coughs> literally my supervisor is the absolute best she just bought us some pizza and some Ferrero Rocher oh, amazing <laughs> I just ate my face off now I literally feel so fat I was in a bad mood because I felt <coughs> kind of sick which I still kind of do but the pizza cheered me up I'm not gonna lie they were laughing when she called and she was like Jaden and I ran to the front okay because I'm the one who ordered she made me order the pizza so I ran to the front and boy was I excited that pizza really hit the spot <laughs> so now it's time to get back to work and today is one of those longer days for me too so I'm kind of happy that I actually ate something that I like I try not to eat like that all the time I can't remember the last time I had some pizza it was probably two months ago, so I don't eat like that on a regular, but when I do, I do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in the bathroom and I'm pretty sure somebody's waiting to come in here. Maybe Brittany. She's always waiting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. So today is obviously a bad hair day. This morning, I woke up early, went to, where did I go? Went to the bank quickly, and then <clears throat> came back, I showered, and pretty much got ready before I went to the bank. So, as soon as I came back from the bank, I just took like my outerwear off and went to lay down. Because I'm like, I want to just lay down until it's time to go back until it's time to get up to go to work. So I slept from like 10.30 to 12.45. Set an alarm on my phone and the alarm just went off. And I literally got up, put my jacket and my shoe on and rolled out of bed. Put this tam on and then left to go to work. I swear, I look like a boy. I have a hat that I'd normally wear. But of course, the, there's this other supervisor at work who makes everything a 
problem even when it does not need to be. So I wore the hat last week or a few days ago and he was like, I told you not to wear the hat. I'm like, yeah, you said I look like a boy. I don't care if I look like a boy. I'm having a bad hair day. He's like, no, um, the company don't want nobody wearing hats. And I'm just like, okay. So still having a bad hair day today because I'm wearing my braids and I did not feel like I wanted to have a wig on all day. So I bought this a few weeks ago and I decided to wear it. I wore it yesterday and today and I saw him looking at me um, yesterday, but I never even said nothing, sir. You said I can't wear like a baseball hat and this is not that. You said I'm having a bad hair day. What do you want me to do? So he didn't say nothing. Hopefully he does not see anything tomorrow. I think I might be going to my aunt's house to chill with my cousins and stuff. And I mean, for the most part, I'm gonna be packing all morning and stuff. I'm hoping I get like some boxes from work today because I wasn't trying to buy any boxes. And then I'm gonna pack in the morning and go by my cousins in the evening because I'm trying to get this packing done. Um, I, I packed like a whole other bat Dwayne's job there are these like big thick garbage bags right so I told him to bring some home before he left and he brought some home so that I just took the clothes out of the, like the drawers and stuff folded up as they were and put them in the bags so we'll just need to like move those bags and just unpack them and everything afterwards which is good it makes everything a little easy the stuff that are hanging i took them down with the hanger and everything just the same and like folded the stuff around the hangers so i'm gonna just need to take them out of the bag and like unfold it and i will be able to just hang it up just the same which is amazing i hope you guys heard because i thought my hand was covering the speaker so um, yeah, so the packing is looking good so far. I'm trying to be lazy, but make sure that it's ready to go once we get there. So that's pretty much all the clothes. And for the furniture, it's not gonna be that much. But like the dresser is empty and the chest is empty and everything else was either in a closet or so. And just like pots and plates and that stuff. I need a few boxes for those, but those are easy. I feel like the hardest part, or the most difficult part, is already done, which is good. So, I just did a bit more packing. <clears throat> now, I always knew that I hated packing and moving. Initially, the packing didn't seem like such a big deal. It was a breeze, you know? But on a day like today, where I worked so long, and then to come home and still pack some more stuff up, it just has been a drag, I'm not even gonna lie. And then packing all this stuff up is one thing, but when we get there to unpack the stuff, I mean, I labeled everything, I'm that person, because I wanna be able to like just pop this box open and know what's already in there and just pretty much make the moving process a little bit easier than it already is, because I feel like moving in itself is already so stressful. The crazy thing is that um, my supervisor is also moving, and it's just like for the past couple of days, we've been back and forth about the boxes and whatever. But she's actually moving today and I'm moving in a few days, I guess, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the bathroom is empty. Pretty much just the stuff that I'm using now or out. I need to take that stuff up. Oh my gosh, as I'm talking about it. Mm, I, st I feel like, I think I've packed so much stuff up. And then I keep going around and it's a little stuff here and a little stuff there. And it's just like, oh my gosh, am I not done yet? But um, I literally just have small stuff left. Um, I emptied the kitchen cabinets and <sighs> that was just so much. 
I always, I, I feel like I said this the last time we moved. You never realize how much stuff you have until you are freaking moving. And I feel like that's when people decide that, oh, I think I'm going to be a minimalist because you just have so much stuff that you either haven't used in a while or you really just don't need. Because that just makes your life stressful and the move stressful and pretty much everything regarding the move just so stressful. I am telling you, I am busted. It's 10 o'clock. I have to go to bed soon because I wake up at... I have to wake up early enough to get to work at 9.30. Yo, I don't know how I'm going to do it because where we're moving to, it's going to be further from my work and I'm going to have to take the train and maybe a few buses and... I'm not too thrilled. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.